All right, speaking of which, uh, no room for softies in this next segment. It is what caught my eye, and to kick us off, it is... Oh, what's that? It's the king of comedy. <laughs> oh, okay, no. Well, Tony, as you know, I have retired. Uh, and I don't have a hell of a lot going on at home except I look after the kids. So mm. they go down for a nap during the day. I flick Netflix on. I've been doing a bit of perusing. Uh, and this came across my eye. A little bit of Dr. Evil action here. Yep. And maybe I did tune in last week. <laughs> oh, yes. I think I know where you're going. <laughs> maybe I did see some sort of chair getting pushed around. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right, OK. <laughs> yes. oh, is that it, is that it, is it? <laughs> That's a good start. No, I like it. Here he goes. What a professional the, what, pusher. What was the feedback during the week to this? From the newsroom? Just people in general. Uh, it wasn't great. <laughs> um, <laughs> although we've ramped it up a bit. Jack, who's here at the moment, has been the official uh, chair pusher this week. And he's got it down to... A, he does the actual... Little noises as he does it. And then when he pushes it in the desk, it's like... So we've actually ramped it up a little bit. It's sad, isn't it? Uh, anyway, we're a very serious yeah. news service when we're on air. Yeah. Over to you, TJ. Oh, OK. Um, now, Damo, I know that you do a lot. Yeah. Right, during the footy season. Mm. Yeah. Bugger all in the off season, but you do a lot in the, you've got your podcasts yep. with Hutchie and that AFL one that you do. Yep, you AFL do a, Daily. Oh whatever. No, we'll anyway, you do the yeah. all standing board up. AFL Daily. Yeah, yeah. right oh, okay. <laughs> the, 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 the one with the Lordo. You do classified one night, you do you do a lot you do a lot of talking. Yeah. All right, but I reckon you could do less. Because yeah, right? okay. one of the golden rules of journalism is economy of words. Okay. Okay, economy of words. You, my friend, are a little verbose. And here's some examples. Example number one. I've been told by um, multiple people now that there, there were witnesses to it, Hutchie, of a, of a Melbourne footy club nature. Witnesses of a Melbourne footy club nature. Yep. So, Melbourne. Hmm. Just Melbourne. trying not to get up a source. I, I can't remember Give Get up a source. That. A Melbourne footy club nature. Yeah, right? you? Yep. That's the translation. Here's uh, number two. The threats you get, and th there's been many of them prior to this particular case that you've worked on. The, 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 the threats of a, of a death nature... The threats of a death nature. That'll be a death threat. <laughs> this last point better be good, I reckon. Yeah, I know. Well, I, I was a little iffy on this. Yeah. Okay, and here's the so third one. So you built one. this up. Here's the third one. He was taken out of the game. Sitting alongside him is, um, is Tom Mitchell, who had a really, really nasty blob of a, of a leg from a cork style of operation. <laughs> <laughs> a, a cork <laughs> style of operation. I could have brought that one back to corky. Yeah, yeah. OK. <laughs> Just economy of words, Damo, OK? Yeah, fair point. So we've got death threat and a corky. Yeah. Right. Yeah. All right. Jeez, we're, okay. run, we're running short this week, aren't we? <laughs> What about the photo that Damo's running there with the overlay? Oh, I read it, did I? Yeah. It's, about, it's, about, it's about 10 years young. Anyway, Robbie Williams has embraced AFL. We've seen it happen in the past few weeks. He sang at the grand final last year. He uh, sang a, a weird song about the Sydney Swans last week, but he's embracing the blues and came up with his own words on a uh, Tom De Koning moment. De Koning's in the air, everywhere I look around. De Koning's everywhere, leaving bodies on the ground. No bigger name, but there's no more favourite person of mine, TJ, when it comes to karaoke in an AFL sense than uh, this man. Shake your ass, come over here. Now scream. <laughs> I'm a bird in effigy of everything I used to be. <laughs> my rock oh, of no. empathy. My dear, <laughs> let me. <laughs> and the, the money's going down. <laughs> let me. This is entertaining, isn't it? Eh? What a night. You said he pulled that one off. I thought you did, actually. <laughs> oh, no. It gets worse every time I watch it. Oh, that's I do love that first one, though. I, I do love the shades yeah. in that first one. You need to do research in this world, Damo. Yep. And they say measure twice, then you only cut once. So yes. when I read your articles, and I expect them to be absolutely... But the amount of people that you pick up on and you go after and you do your journo thing yeah. and you're very... You're calculated. Let's, right. let's just say that. But when you roll out this, it starts to worry me. So, if there's going to be a Brownlow wild card this year, then Caleb Sarong could be your man. I'm like, no, no, I, Brownlow reckon, counts. I reckon Caleb Sarong <laughs> was suspended throughout the year, and then I went back not that long after, and there'd been an update or an edit. Oh. Caleb Sarong hadn't been suspended <laughs> for a week back in round 17. Yeah, yeah. Come on, Damo. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's almost tried like... to hide your mistake. <laughs> it's almost like one of your multis. 
Oh. Oh. No, not as bad as that. No, I think it was. No, no, no one was putting money on that. <laughs> now, one of the most famous moments in footy television was this. I'll get straight to it. Well, coming up after the oh. break, we'll oh, catch no. up with Demon Coach. Oh. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> what are you doing? Why have you shown that? Because you told him to. I don't say that. I'm showing it is because there was a famous moment sitting here on Wednesday night. Yeah. Footy classified. Eddie was doing the introductions. Mm. And this happened. What a big week it's been in football. <laughs> Matthew Lloyd. Damien, <laughs> mate, unbelievable. I was just looking at you and thinking about what we're going to go through. We've got a huge list here. Damien Barrett. <laughs> so I've got no doubt in the intros, Eddie did not have a clue who Damien was. So I thought I'd do a collaboration. Yeah. And here is my, uh, my get together or pull together of that moment. <laughs> what a big week it's been in football. Matthew Lloyd, Damien. <laughs> <laughs> We got a party. <laughs> 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 did you notice that on the night? I did actually. Yeah. <laughs> I've known Eddie for 30 years. Oh, I couldn't believe it. <laughs>